Okay, what are we doing? You're next. Really? No what breaks happened? or anything? You no work, breaks. You We're, drive a hard show here. We're having too much fun. Oh, yeah, this is great. Question. Question. Yes. If you raspberries first. Do you still get the same seed consistency? Yeah, the seeds aren't, unless you puree them and strain them, but you're not going to do that. That's the one rub on this. It has seeds, but you know what? That's a good point, too. You know it's not raspberries out of a can. These are fresh raspberries. I want the seeds. I mean, it's, it's like watermelon. I mean, how could you eat a watermelon without seeds? And it, it just wouldn't be the same. Besides, watermelon, by the way, you spit them out. Yeah, by the way, if you make watermelon Italian ice, uh, throw in chocolate chips, and then it looks like the seeds. And so you have something to eat. You're, you're, you're up. We need mix. Coming up. Yes, Jim. He has written down here, if you need to extend the serving beyond three days to put in a stabilizer, is that because this is Three days? He says, no, you stabilize if needed to extend serving life more than three days. Three days? That's what he wrote down. <laughs> you don't need stabilizer after three days. I don't need stabilizer. Three days, no, he said you said? It's written down at the bottom. No, three weeks, maybe. This is the, the one you need. Yeah, well, that's for people who are going to make ice in uh, May and sell it in August. Oh, wholesalers. Okay. That's not you. So okay. just cross out well, days Sammy. and put months. Yes, months. Yeah, got it. Sammy. Small little error. Yes, sir. If you want us to make it sweeter, you can put in more sugar. Sure. That's not a problem. It's like a roaming tiger. <laughs> Sammy. Samantha. Okay, time for a vote. I have two that I never made before, so we'll vote on what we want to make first. And not that it matters, but we have lemon Oreo cookie ice cream. Your dog is in my or ice cream. Or we have room. tiramisu ice cream. Who do we? How do we vote for lemon Oreo and tiramisu? Great, great. I'll tell you what. We'll flip a coin. <laughs> what should we make? Tiramisu. 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 Okay. I'm dying tiramisu, to try. Tiramisu. Uh, this is faux tiramisu. Uh, just because uh, it doesn't have mascarpone cheese in it. I looked all around, I couldn't find mascarpone cheese. And I'm not going to add ricotta when it calls for mascarpone. I never what? heard of this stuff. Mascarpone, really? Yeah. No. You've heard of mascarpone yeah. cheese, Is that of how you pronounce it? Mascarpone, right? That's how you pronounce it. Okay, what do we say we're making? Um, tiramisu. All right. Well, we'll see. So this tiramisu will consist of uh, Vienna fingers, my favorite growing up. I love these things. And, <laughs> and a little tiramisu tirani, and some of the unbelievable chips that I just discovered, Barry... Calibet. Calibo. Calibet. Calibo. Barry <laughs> Calibo chocolate chips. Now, I understand, and these are amazing. You know how sometimes I always use Hershey's? Not anymore. Barry Calibo chips, you can take one chip, put it on your tongue, and it will just melt. No, what was that taste? Uh, chalky? What, what, is, what is the taste? We, what? Waxy. No waxy taste at all, and the flavor is blow you away. So we'll put these in just because. I don't think tiramisu comes with chocolate chips in it, but I, hey, I got them, so we'll use them. Jeff, where do you get them? <laughs> where do you get the, the chips? Uh, from Barry Calibo. You buy them online? Yeah, just Google Barry Calibo and order them. <clears throat> okay. And I'm now going to order, I heard the white chocolate chips, the milk chocolate chips, the more of these dark chocolate chips, and they make chocolate chunks, which are like discs. So I'm just going to order them all. Now, they are a little more expensive, but who cares, right? Who cares? We went over profit margins in class yesterday, I think, right? And uh, everybody's med jaw dropped. The profit is silly. This is, this is the best business in the world to get into. And if you're 40 years old or younger, uh, your whole future is guaranteed. If you're 40 or older, your life is set. Your path is set. I went into this business when I was 60. I know I don't look a day over 80 right now, but at 60, I went into this business, and uh, everything is there now. 
and it has been for years. So let's make this. We have mix? Yes. You, huh? you forgot the part about, and you owe it all to the little people. Uh, there are no little people. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm trying to lose Let's weight. get the mix. All right. So uh, since I've never made it, uh, we're going to wing it, uh, which is, you know, with, with this business and these machines, winging it is, is such a, a, an easy task because you just take good stuff. I mean, I bought these in the supermarket. We have great chocolate chips a little uh, tiramisu coffee flavored and uh, and you can't miss you you just can't miss once it's all in the machine right see right once it's in the machine uh, you adjust if if you that's why I don't put on the refrigeration right away I like to mix it up taste it and see if I need anything uh, and then we add it so we're going to use five quarts of mix. You're not writing this down. Five quarts of mix. These recipes are not on my website, so you better write them down. Oh, but they will be, won't they? No. No, we don't give away your recipes. Good man. And why is that? Because we want them to sell a book. That's it. Yes, we have Mystic Ice's book. We it's, only uh, have eight fantastic. here. Fantastic. What's the uh, web address for this? Uh, X hippie at AOL. And watch out—he didn't, still couldn't even spell hippie. It's X H I P P E E at AOL.com. Or as we say, if you remember the '60s, you weren't there. Now. Um, well, you know, it's fine. Huh. Uh, the, um, we just made coconut ice cream in here. Now, we're not going to rinse it out because I've, I've let as much come out as I can. And if you, if you think about the percentages, if this were mint, we probably should rinse it. You don't want mint crawling in anywhere. But this is sweet coconut ice cream. Not going to hurt another sweet cookie ice cream. So, and if you, the coconut things were so small, it's okay. It's okay. If this had uh, nuts in it floating around, almonds, then yeah, of course you want to rinse it. Or if it had raisins, that's the killer one, raisins. You don't want a customer to come back up and with her ice cream and say, there's a bug in here. <laughs> and it's a raisin. So anyway, my point is, you don't have the only time you have to worry about rinsing the machine, and you never have to clean it between flavors. You might have to rinse it, which is simply a bucket of water, uh, twenty seconds through it, and you're good. Health department. <laughs> so. Oh, you mean when you make ice cream, you can't have dogs around? <laughs> Go away. Go away. Uh, when you're pouring from a wide, unflexible, uh, non-flexible container, the higher you keep it, the easier it is to pour it. If you try to pour this directly into here, it's going to be all over the floor. So you have one shot to aim it, and then at the right height, and you're good to go. So we'll try that. We'll try it like that. You can keep the applause to a minimum on that. <laughs> there you go. There. As Joe Pesci would do. All right, now we'll close it up and we'll turn it on and then we'll start adding stuff to it and then we'll taste. Uh, so we'll put it on. And then the first thing we'll add, or uh, the first thing we'll add, is some tarani to get the basic flavor of tiramisu going. Do you all know what tiramisu tastes like? No. Good. <laughs> so we can't be wrong here. So this is uh, a 750. A 750 is how many ounces? How many? 25. So we'll start with about a half.
and we'll see what it tastes like. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. I like everything more flavorful. So we'll add, it'll be one bottle. I use these in the stores at our coffee bar for cappuccinos. We have all the different flavors. That's what they really are. And now we'll shoot some cookies in. Some of the Vienna fingers. Oh. Zoom. How many do you think we should put in? Oh, the whole bag? Yeah. Why not? Good crowd. Now, as we discussed yesterday, or Monday, we're in this business for three reasons. We all get into this business for three reasons, right, Z? Right? It's the teacher in me. Pay attention. We get in this business for three reasons. Anybody want to tell them what those three reasons are? What's number one? Profit. Not make money. Profit. Because if you do the right things, the money will follow. So we're in it for profit. The second thing, art. We're in it for art because we're creating. We're creating, like now, we're creating tiramisu. If this works out good, I'll make this back at the store and put it on the board and sell it. If it doesn't, you suffer. <laughs> Profit, art, fun. This is a fun business. See how much fun you're having? Uh, we might as well just throw the whole bag in. Now she wrote that down, and when she makes it, she's going to throw the whole bag in. Pay attention. Now what's going to happen to these in there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they should grind up and uh, add to the flavor. And if we get a couple of chunks, good deal. Now these don't belong in there, but they're so good. So we'll put them in, all right? What? <laughs> they're, they're humble, aren't they good though? We tasted them. They're, they're like no other chocolate chip you ever tasted. They are ridiculous. I can't believe that I went 10 years without knowing about this. And I thought I was using the best. I used Giardelli chips and Hershey chips. Nothing like this. Like a Hershey syrup? What's that? Do they make a syrup like a Hershey syrup? I don't know. I don't know. But I'll soon find out. Whatever they make, I'm buying. And it seems everybody in the business knows about this, except me. I was down at a friend's cream ice store in Fort Lauderdale, and his name is Evan, and he, he is a, a genius in cream ice. He's got like a hundred flavors on his board of cream ices. No ice cream, no Italian ices, cream ice. It's amazing. And there are lines every night. Places, uh, half the size of this store, this room. Anyway, so um, I was talking to him about ingredients and he mentioned Barry Calibo chips. I never heard of it. But right sitting there, I ordered a box. The box is 25 pounds or so, 30, something like that. All right, so what else should we add, anything? How about some vanilla? He's got the good stuff here that I don't have to pay for. So we'll add 
usually an ounce a quart. So what do we have, five quarts in here? So we'll add five ounces of good vanilla. Price on vanilla is absurd. But we did go over the beans and that's a very economical way to make your own vanilla. Okay, now we'll taste it. See, how could this be bad? Look what we added. We added cream, vanilla, cookies, those great chips, and some tiramisu. How could this be bad? It's got to be great. Huh, it's a silly. It's silly how good it is. So we'll turn this on, and then we're ready. Now we could add some more of these, uh, but I think we're good. What my plan was, you know how tiramisu comes in the round thing with the lady fingers all around it? My plan was to put one of these in each of your ice creams. But I'm not gonna do that. Jim, stick your finger and try a few of those chips. You don't need many. All right, I'll get them. There. Well. <coughs> In your mouth, Jim. Amazing, isn't it? It's not like any chocolate chip I ever tasted. Those Barry Calibo chips are great. <laughs> no, nothing. What was that? Your stuff, right? From the first one. No, that was yours. It has to be. I showed my stuff. What? I showed No, that was the first ice cream. Yeah. No, I, I showed... I made coconut. No. I showed this, and it had just cool reaction. That's because I did it afterwards. I poured it in. <laughs> let's, let's choose to fight over that. Why did you get the standing ovation? Why was everybody clapping? Uh, I showed him the right way to pour mix into the machine without spilling a drop. Yeah. Higher. Yes. One shot in. Very good. One shot in. You yeah. got to have your aim right, but higher it'll funnel down. That's right. Gee, you <laughs> did something right. I'm shocked. Thanks. Same with water. If you rest it on the lip, it's going to spill. Yes, sir. No, it's all right. I pay her to ask questions at every breath. Yes. Yes. What's the smallest batch? Yes. Well, there again, Steve and I dis uh, disagree. So. Uh, you had a question too, somebody else. Oh, you did. Yes, I saw your hand go up. You forgot. Must be living with Brian Cranston at that time. Okay, any other questions? So the last one that I'll make today is lemon Oreo. I never heard of lemon Oreos. And yesterday somebody in the class said, oh, lemon Oreos, they're terrific. So I went and bought lemon Oreos. And that's going to be a two-ingredient ice cream. Mix lemon Oreos. Done. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. Uh, this is going to be good. Let's make sure it is what it is. Now, yesterday, one second. Yesterday, we made an ice cream. And I keep tasting it. Even though I've made them all before, yesterday, we tasted it and we dumped six gallons out in the sink because it wasn't good. So I always taste them all the time to see what we're gonna add, what we're gonna take away. Take away meaning add more mix, uh, just to, to keep testing it. And it wasn't up to our standards and we dumped it right down the sink, six gallons.
Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you a question at your place where you're at. Have you ever used bacon chips? Bacon? Bacon, yeah, bacon chips. No. I run an ice cream store, not a hog farm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not a chance. Okay. I know it's popular, and I know it's sweeping the nation. Yep. But think about that term, sweeping the nation. No bacon. You want to make some bacon ice cream? No, no. thank you. No, it doesn't belong in ice cream. No. Again, when I made that batch of raspberry uh, with the chocolate chips, uh, if you pull it at the proper consistency, you're not going to leave anything in the machine. That's what was left from uh, six, uh, seven quarts of Italian ice. Uh, virtually nothing. So when I hear from people that say, oh, I got a whole lot of chips left in, same old thing. You froze it too stiff. That's, that's the way it should look. No. Uh, what's your name? Robert. Robert? Yeah. Not Bob. Robert. Uh, Bob is good too. He's no palindrome. <laughs> uh, in, I'm old school, and in my world, ice cream is sweet, flavorful, and creamy. That's what I want. Bacon doesn't really fall into there too much. I do make a maple ice cream, and people say, well, maple bacon goes good, but it's just not in my world. It's just it's something I tried, I tried in New York. Uh, and it was good, right? Yeah, it was called Pigs, Pigs on the Moon. And it was Pigs on the Moon? Pigs on the Moon, yeah. It was a moon pie on the bottom, which you heat up for about 10 seconds in a micro. Then you hit it with some vanilla, and then you put bacon chips, and you put some uh, some uh, fudge over the top. Okay. It's unbelievable. The salt would and we sugar ever do that? mix. It's amazing. Sherry's ice cream, would we ever and, do that? And you know what? If you go back next year, I'll bet you it's not there. Because there's always fads coming and going. In fact, please, one of you, we're going to do what we call questions answered next. And one of you bring up the keto diet, because it drives me nuts. Uh, I want to talk about keto diet ice cream. Gosh, talk about an oxymoron. Do they allow alcohol in the keto diet? I don't know. I doubt it. Yes, they do. They allow organic wine. Ah, who are they kidding themselves? Hmm? Alcohol has calories no matter what you call it. Well, you remember that book in the 60s, Calories Don't Count? Yeah. Well... Everything it's counts. all opinions. If you ingest it, it counts. And God bless Dr. Atkins. <laughs> yeah. Greatest diet, uh, greatest commercials on TV now. Atkins, really? Yes. yes. He Everybody was so ahead of his beach. time. He was. The man knew. He knew in the 80s, late 70s, he knew what the real deal was. Anyway, uh, the, the reason, I, I shouldn't have cut you short, but... Here's the deal. Ice cream is universally desired and accepted. In my store, we see 200 to 300 people a night. Out of those people, how many, and I have 35, 40 flavors up on the wall. How many do you think would forego mint chocolate chip and uh, raspberry chip and Bailey's and all these other flavors for bacon? One two, five, I don't want to do it. I want to appeal to as many people as I can with a sweet, creamy, flavorful product. Not to say you can't do it, but I agree with Steve. Next year, you'll say bacon ice cream. They go, what? Please. Yes, sir. Um, you sanitize a machine one time and then you rinse it with just water or you yes. rinse it with sand? No, just water. You can't wait. This is so much fun, isn't yeah, it? it is. It's I mean, we have such a good time here. Yeah, I'm amazed we invite people in to watch us have fun. <laughs> you know, we do this every day. Yeah. But you just... only come in once every other month. <laughs> okay, we're ready here. All right. There he goes. 
I always wait for it to click off. Okay. That way, at least you know that the refrigeration's off. Correct. Correct. It's a good way to teach people. And they also know to check the water coming out, it stops. Mm -hmm. By the way, all most homemade ice creams, another reason for not having a dipping cabinet, a visible dipping cabinet, is most of our ice creams are beige. They're not uh, bright blue and bright red and bright yellow. They're beige. So what's the point in showing them off? People will only be disappointed. Okay, should we try this? <laughs> We don't know. Okay. How'd you make out yesterday? Most of it's salt, so we're good. Okay. Thank you. This is faux Thank tiramisu. <laughs> Well, it looks beige. <laughs> it looks beige with little black dots in it. Where are you from? Orlando area, like Daytona Beach. Oh, yeah? Oh, I, I, I just got a place in Daytona Beach Shores. Oh, okay. Operations in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hmm? Our ice cream, well, he has a business in Orlando. Do you ever see the Subaru but, uh, we're, we're opening up in three locations in Santa Fe, New Mexico. <laughs> Santa Fe, I'm going to go to the Balloon Fest. Yeah. I always wanted to, and I said, this is the year. Great setup. Let's move the line along, Ricardo. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. So, what grade did you teach? Uh, high school English. No. <laughs> Imagine where those kids are now. Unfortunately, they're probably working in Walmart. <laughs> what can I help you find, dear? What's wrong with that one? I'm going to work. Keep those questions coming, Indra. It has Barry Calibo chips in it. Otherwise known as Barry Calibo. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it couldn't go by you. Mm -mm. <laughs> Vanilla with chocolate and stuff. Oh, um, it's uh, tiramisu. Okay, okay, I'll try. <laughs> Don't do me any favors. There's no alcohol in that, right? No. See, a normal alcohol tiramisu, I wouldn't have it because it's got alcohol in it. This doesn't. It's good. You want a spoon with that? Well, you just gonna lap it up. <laughs> Take a spoon. You know. You're in Florida now. This, this isn't Alabama. <laughs> Texas, ain't Texas. 